Today's Gospel, the Golden Rule. Do unto others as you would have others do unto you. We've all heard it. Not being the sharpest tack in the drawer, my favorite Bible passages are those that are easy to understand. But what I've found over time, that the easiest Bible passages to understand are sometimes the most difficult to follow and incorporate into our lives. Luke's Gospel today fits that bill for me. Clear, concise, to the point, Jesus, in no uncertain terms, lays out precisely how we should live our lives. He tells us, love your enemies, do good to them. Turn the other cheek. Forgive. Be merciful. Do not judge. And then your reward will be great. But more than the words, we are given a model to follow. A model in our Father. He is absolutely perfect in His love. He is the founder of goodness and tenderness and compassion. We only have to look at what he did. He offered his one and only son to be beaten to death, to die on the cross for us, and to rise again from the dead so that we might be free from sin and have eternal life all of us. And think of Jesus and his words when being nailed to the cross. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And then there's the story of the prodigal son and the father who continued to live to love his son no matter what his son did. It's easy for me to love people who love me, sort of a mutual admiration society. What's not so easy, and what I find frankly difficult, not really good at, is for me to love those and to forgive those who aren't real nice to me. It's easy for me to be kind and tender and loving to my wife when we both agree, when we're both on the same page when everything's peaches and cream. But not so much when we have our disagreements, when we have our conflicting points of view on how to approach things or different approaches to solutions. We need to strive for hearts that are godlike, hearts that always put the needs and the concerns of others before our own. We need to be, like God, selfless, always compassionate. Sometime next week, identify someone you're holding a grudge against and forget about why. Maybe they're an annoyance. Forget that. Go to that person and tell them, hey, you know what? Life is short. And it's too short for me to be acting the way I've been acting. I'm sorry. I apologize. And I'm going to try to live my life as God expects.